Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. Now in this video I want to show you how to create an Excel macro to automatically create the cell link in all of the checkboxes on a worksheet. Now I've done a previous blog post and video on creating interactive checklists. And it's a basic example of one on the screen at the moment. And in it, I talk about how to get these checkboxes to work. We have to format the control like I'm doing on screen and establish a cell link so that when somebody checks the box, we have a cell containing the, the value. And then we can test that within a formula or something to see whether it's been checked or not. However, the cell link, if I demonstrate quickly right now, is always an absolute reference. You cannot do relative referencing, i.e. you'll have to manually do that for every checkbox in the list. That's all this. And I'm going to go into my Visual Basic editor. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut of Alt and F11 for that. And I'm going to look at inserting a module. Now in the description of this video, I will put a link to my online Excel VBA class. So if any of these descriptions about what I say do not make much sense, please check that out and that will fill in any gaps. If you do a bit at the moment, you want to take your skills further, also please feel free to check it out. Now I'm going to create a macro known as a sub uh, routine in VBA talk. I'm going to try and talk whilst I do here. It's just a small macro, so it shouldn't be too troublesome to write this out right now. Normally in my macro videos, the code's already there and I, I'll talk you through it. I thought I may as well write this one. Uh, in front of you right now do something a little bit different now what I'm doing right now is creating a variable which I'm going to call CHK you can call this whatever you wish it really does not need to be called CHK but this is a variable to act as a checkbox it's an object variable it's going to act as a checkbox and this is going to be used so that we can easily step through the checkboxes um, on our worksheet and kind of loop through them. Now this code I create, I'm also going to make sure is available in the description of this video also. So feel free to take it and adapt it to your needs. Now the next thing we need is a for each loop. And we're going to use this to loop through each CHK, so each checkbox basically, in the active sheet dot checkboxes. Now it's a collection. Excel knows how many checkboxes on screen at any given time and we're accessing that information. I've written next which is the end now of uh, that for each next loop. Within there we're going to establish the link. So CHK that is the variable acting as the checkbox. So I've got five checkboxes, you know, one, two, three, four, five. I don't have to worry about that, they're all going to be known as CHK. You know, for this checkbox, do this, for this checkbox, do this. For this CHK dot linked cell. That's the information I'm changing. You can see as you're typing in here that a list of kind of properties uh, and methods appear. This is a property called linked cell. Equals. I want to assign something to that property. I'm aware I'm talking a little bit quickly going through this as I type. Um, CHK. Now I'm going to use something called uh, top left cell here. So I'm referring to the top left cell of the checkbox at this point. I need to know the position of the checkbox. Like what cell is it in? And I'm referring to its position identified by the top left corner of the checkbox. I'm going to explain that a little bit more when we come back to the worksheet when this is done. For now, let me go into this offset property and offset this by zero rows and minus one 
so one column to the left close bracket dot address the address of the cell one column to the left of the top left cell of the checkbox assign that address into the link cell property of the checkbox so that's it a very small macro very small bit of code I'll put this in the description of the video for you to use so if you're using checkboxes you're going to want to copy and paste that into a module of your project your workbook and this should work a dream let me check it out I'm going to close this down let me quickly explain it if I right click on this checkbox notice that the top left corner fits into cell B4 so this checkbox is in B4 if your checkbox is a little bit outside of it like that then the top left corner is A3 okay so that is what I mean by that top left corner property I'm referring to where it is it's in B4 so the column to the left of that remember I used offset 0 comma minus 1 the column to the left is A4 that's where I'm going to link it to to the left of every single checkbox CHK minus 1 offset minus 1 that's where the information is going to go that is the cell link let me go into the macro and see this in action let's run that macro and here we go nothing appears to happen let me check it out now if I start checking some boxes this automatic coloring is done because of the interactive checklist and um, if you're interested in seeing how that's done check out the blog post I'll put a link in the description you're gonna have a link to my online course to learn VBA a link for this interactive checklist see how you can get it to do this untick the colors disappear marking things off as we go I'm also going to put this VBA code as I tick that box, if I click in A4, notice it says true at the top. So that is the cell link. My macro has linked that checkbox to that cell. That is the cell that this conditional formatting that I've used for the color news are lying on, and it all works great. That has looped for every checklist and done that. If I had a lot more than that, that would have taken me a lot of time to manually do. No problem now though. So I hope you enjoy that video. I hope you're going to find it useful. Please check out some of my other videos on my YouTube channel. And come check us out at computergargar.com.